Mercedes are in a huge need of a solid driver to replace Lewis Hamilton, and while many are betting on experienced individuals like Sainz and Alonso, the Silver Arrows could go well out of their way and introduce a pattern that's never been seen before inside their team, promote a very young and prospective driver to replace the seven-time world champion. But with so much to gain and lose, as well as Wolf making a mistake a couple of years ago that he does not want to repeat right now, is Antonelli the right choice to replace the legendary Brit driver? And more importantly, will it fit Mercedes' big picture? Kimi Antonelli is currently racing in F2, in what seemed to be one of the most competitive teams in the past couple of years, Prema Racing. However, after the rough start of the season, many believe that he would need a couple of more years in this championship in order to gain the much needed experience in order to drive an F1 car. But that might not be the case after all, now that Mercedes have made some moves that strongly indicate that Antonelli is the leader when it comes to inheriting this place. For starters, the young Italian driver will be given the W12, the 2021 Constructors' Championship winning car that Mercedes has produced to drive in the Austrian's Red Bull ring later in April for two days, which will give Wolf more than enough information as to whether or not the hotshot of a driver is ready to compete in F1. As of now, he has definitely been the slower driver compared to Behrman, his teammate, even though there was a belief that he would take on the F2 Championship by storm after completely skipping F3, but nevertheless, Mercedes is convinced that this is a way that should be following because of the fact that Wolf missed out on a perfect opportunity to sign Verstappen when he was at a similar age with Antonelli. Even the Austrian said that while this is not a common practice for the Silver Arrows, signing a very young driver in such a competitive team without giving him a proper time to gel with the sport and the cars in due time, it might be the best thing to do now that Hamilton's move has forced him to think outside the box and to hire a driver who would have massive shoes to fill once Hamilton departs in Ferrari from 2025 onwards. When talking about Antonelli and what he represents for Mercedes, Wolf went on to say, We got Kimi under the wing in 2012 and he was a great kind already. You could see the character he had and it was very strong. We had him in the garage and there was a lot of confidence present in his character. But we got to be careful because there is a lot of hype around him. Putting him in F2 straight from F4 is a big step because those cars are heavier and much more powerful. And if we give him his time, I think he could be a really great driver in F1 because I don't expect him to be killing it in his first season in F2. Well, this goes to show that even if Kimi does not win the championship in F2, which does seem like a far-fetched scenario, judging from the first couple of races and the dip that Premier Racing took in this championship, it wouldn't automatically mean that he'll be out of the equation when it comes to replacing Hamilton and Mercedes. Obviously, the Silver Arrows are no short of options, but the declining rate of the team might make it less appealing for competitive drivers like Sainz and Alonso, who would be eyeing Perez's seat in Red Bull now that the Mexican driver has been linked to departing the Austrian squad yet again. And this is one of the cons that Mercedes will be facing if they sign a driver like Antonelli. They would have to spend a couple of years before they get him up to speed with Russell and the rest of the grid, meaning they won't be competitive straight off the bat, even though the 2026 regulations are tipped to favour the Brackley-based squad due to the engine supremacy they have compared to the rest of the grid, along with Ferrari. This could be considered a double-edged sword, because if they are to go with Alonso, it would mean that it's two to three years of commitment in which the Spaniard would have some chances to win the championship. But at the end of the day, if Antonelli is not able to secure a seat in one of Mercedes' affiliated teams, such as Williams, it could inevitably force the Italian driver to look for a seat elsewhere. And Mercedes could be facing a scenario that Alpine faced with Oscar Piastri not that long ago as he labelled Antonelli won't be looking elsewhere and he'll produce a lot of success inside the Mercedes team. And the first move towards this scenario has been made by Mercedes giving the W12 to Antonelli to be tested for two full days on the Red Bull ring. If the Silver Arrows are to give one of the two troublesome cars that they've produced in the period of 2022 to 2024, then it would inevitably mean that they won't be able to extract the maximum potential out of Antonelli's skills because of all the flaws these cars have, as they're going to want to avoid the scenario of signing a driver who will be a good driver of bad cars. Another strong indicator is Kimi Antonelli's close family relationship with Toto Wolff, which could play a huge indicator as to how his future plays out. Obviously, the weak spot for Wolf is the fact that he could have signed Verstappen back in time when he had the opportunity, and now that he's missed it once, he doesn't want this mistake to happen again, which could again pan out in the favour of the young Italian driver. 
Furthermore, Wolf has opened up on the type of driver that Mercedes is looking to put next to George Russell, and while many believe it would be one who will challenge the rest of the grid, Russell primarily for race wins and championships, the narrative might have changed a little. That is, if Verstappen doesn't decide to shake up the entire F1 grid and announce that he won't be part of Red Bull from 2025 onwards, with the chances of this happening being slim to none. After Verstappen, the biggest chances are currently standing in Antonelli's hand, and when talking about this matter, Wolf continued to elaborate, With all the Lewis discussions we've had in the past, something that has not been talked about enough is George. Russell has the potential to be the next lead driver on the team. He is of the generation of Norris and Leclerc and some of the others, and I couldn't wish for a new team leader when Lewis leaves, no doubt about that. We've had such a solid foundation, such a quick, talented and intelligent guy in the car, that we just need to make the right choice for the second driver, the second seat. What this directly implies is the fact that Russell would be asked much more frequently when it comes to who he would prioritise to be his teammate, something that Hamilton wasn't listened to when the younger Brit was brought in by Mercedes in 2022, as the seven-time world champion had clearly stated that he did not want Bottas to be replaced at that time. Regardless, that is all in the past, and if Russell is dubbed to be the leader of the team, he would have an extremely hard time doing that by having signs Verstappen or Alonso as his teammates. Although the con here is that all of these drivers would bring Mercedes a much needed experience and guidance when it comes to relearning how to properly build competitive cars that can fight for race wins and championships. With this in mind, signing Antonelli goes to show that Mercedes might be ready to embark in a new era, one that might take a bit longer for them to be competitive at the front, but once it comes, it will be the hardest duo of drivers to dethrone given their competitive matter. So, although Antonelli might not be able to produce as much feedback and experience on the car as Alonso and Sainz for example, he would be the perfect fit if Mercedes are to follow the lead of Russell, and the good news for the Silver Arrows is that the 2026 regulations will see a reduction of downforce and an increased output from the electrical unit from the engine. This means that the emphasis will be put on the driver, not on the downforce requirements or the car's specifications. So if Antonelli is really that guy, then he would have the perfect chance to prove himself in a Mercedes suit during his teenage years. But in order for him to be considered as a serious candidate for this spot, he mustn't forget about the greater mission he must complete before stepping into an F1 car full time. Be competitive in F2. With all this in mind, and with Wolf's cautionary approach regarding Antonelli's current season in F2, do you think that there is an opportunity in which we're going to see the young Italian superstar being promoted directly to F1? And more importantly, do you think that Mercedes will gain a lot from this move? Let us know in the comments down below.